what I want us to talk about is strategies that work in life. Strategies that work. And they're proven and they're biblical. Thank you. Thank you, folks. I thank you guys who are online. This should not take a lot of time. But let's talk about, I have chosen one character that we all know in the Bible called Nehemiah. Nehemiah applied four strategies that I, I have noted that if we apply these four strategies, it is very unlikely to fail. They don't fail. And, and I think this is almost like the secret of the Christianity that we should be following. Nehemiah is an amazing example of how we can win. And what strategies did he apply? One, remember, Nehemiah, these guys were trying to fulfill or working to fulfill this the, the prophecy of Jeremiah. Jeremiah had prophesied 70 years, Israel will suffer a lot, but they will come back to the land of, um, uh, of from captivity to their, their land. It did not happen easy. Things were very, very tough. And Nehemiah took this task. Uh, and this is, he followed Ezra, just to give you a little bit of a history. But Nehemiah, when he came back to the land of Israel, he applied four strategies, four guys. Amazing. I, I, I encourage you and me that we should apply these strategies in life. And here they are. I, I won't keep you waiting. One, working very, very hard. Oh man, have you read the book of Nehemiah and see? He was going by night. He was not sleeping just to find what had happened to the wall of Jerusalem in the night. And he told no one. He was going alone with his horse in the night. The guy was not sleeping. He was working very hard. Strategy number one, working very, very hard. Like it all depends on you. Do not look at your parents. Do not look at your brothers and sisters. Do not look for assistance. Work as if it all depends on you, man. So that's the first strategy, right? Working very hard. <laughs> Number two. Nehemiah, you know, the, the moment he got, a, he was still in, uh, in, in Babylon. He got a report of what was happening in Israel and what he did. First, he fasted and prayed. He was praying as if it all depended on God. This camera is disappointing me for some reason. Number two, praying as if it all depends on God. We said working very, very hard as if it all depends on you. Number two, praying as if it all depends on God. He knew that without God, he will not go anywhere. So number two is praying very hard. I'm making four simple strategies we can follow. One, working very hard. Two, praying very hard. And what does that mean? Praying as if doing life as if it all depends on God and working as if it all depends on you. Two strategies. Strategy number three. Remember when he was building the wall, there are a couple of guys who brought about opposition. They, they did not want it to happen. What did Nehemiah tell people? He told the people and they wanted to fight them. He told the people, one tool, one hand should have the tools of work and the other hand you should have the sword. In case the enemies attack us, we're going to fight back. What did he say? Because God will fight for us. So what happens? One hand, you should have the tools of work, working very, hand, uh, uh, working very hard. And number two, the other hand, you should have the weapons of war. What does that mean? Spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. Remember, there is the devil out there, guys. We Christian, we cannot live as if the devil is asleep. Even Peter, Peter himself, my camera needs some discipline here. Even Peter himself, is saying in the Bible that Satan is like a roaring lion. What does that mean? You know, a roaring, I was looking, what does a roaring lion look? It's a hungry lion that is looking for a deer or something. It looks, it's walking around waiting to pounce and eat. So Nehemiah tells us, have your tool of trade, working very hard. And on the other hand, have the war because the, the enemy is not sleeping. So spiritual spiritual warfare i've spoken of three things working very hard praying very hard as if it depends on god number three spiritual warfare 
there is an enemy out there. Fight a good fight. So number three, fight a good fight. So how many strategies have you spoken about? Just three. They work all the time, folks. They work all the time. Number four, attitude. Attitude. Nehemiah told the Israelites, guys, fight for your families. Fight for your wives. Fight for your kids. Fight for your job. Fight for your rights. Fight for your career fight for your business fight for fight for what concerns you have that attitude man fight it's your life here it's your family it's your friends it's your country fight of course he said god is going to fight for us so number four the four strategies i carry that are very simple i'm going to summarize for people online thank you guys thank you folks very easy Work as if it depends only on you. Work so hard. Number two, pray as if it depends only on God. Right? Number four. What did we say was number four before I forget? Um, oh, I'm forgetting my own sermon. So we talked about faith. We talked about, then we, we talked about having an attitude. Have an attitude of a fighting men mentality. And with that faith that God is going to fight for us. It's it's my life. I gotta be tough. Have that courage, man. Don't be disappointed. Don't be easily disappointed because there are enemies. Because friends are not happy about your progress. Most people are not happy when we prosper. You know that. So if you're expecting people to see you prosper and you get a million likes, you're wrong. You'll get 10 likes and 10 million down because people are not happy that opposition it comes from the devil so spiritual employing spiritual warfare and number three attitude guys if we apply that in our christian life in our career in our businesses in our dealing with people and being aware there are enemies out there don't neglect spiritual warfare if you don't fight the enemy is going to take the upper hand if you do not pray, just work very hard. If you don't apply the four, one of them is going to fail you. If you apply just working very hard, that means you have put God out of it. You're going to fail because you need God. <laughs> you will realize sooner or later you need God. Number two, you can't just pray, 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 pray fast and pray and expect manna is going to fall from heaven. You must work very hard. As if you prayed and are expecting a miracle. Number three, if you don't fight your enemy, which is Satan and his demons, if you do not engage spiritual warfare, you might have prayed very well. You might have worked very hard, but then forget there is an enemy. And remember, God has given us the tools to fight Satan. And the, Paul says this, these weapons, they're not, they're not kernel. They're not fleshly. They're mighty through God. They're spiritual uh, weapons to fight satan and lastly if you have a bad attitude that is easily de you might have prayed you might have worked very hard you might be fighting the devil but then you find you have a weakness of an attitude like if if you get opposition from people you you lose hope so easily like you just give up you try once twice and the third time oh, i'm never gonna do this business again i'm never going to farm ag again because the first time i farmed all the crops this is the second season. We can't be people who give up. Or maybe Christianity. You find yourself, you're, you're good, you're praying, but three months down the line, six months down the line, you're, you're falling into sin. Then you give up. I'm not gonna, I can't. Let me just continue sinning. We can't be people who give up. I was just seeing some, some post today that Judas, you know, Judas after he sinned, he just thought, oh, I've messed it up. I'm never, be, uh, I can't be forgiven. He committed suicide. You see, the attitude determines everything. So after we have worked so hard, prayed and, f and fought Satan and our enemies with a good, employ a, an amazing attitude. An attitude that says, I am never going to give up because I have God, I've done what's right, and I'm applying, I'm fighting a spiritual warfare. Even though sometimes the enemy appears to be winning. We fight, we fight him, but he's pinning us, pinning us down and we, we, we give up. So attitude, the right attitude in life is very important. I guess it's just the four guys I wanted to bring along. Apply that 
simple four strategies in our Christian walk, in our businesses, in our everyday life. 